Swing and a base hit right through the hole on the left side. Cam Smith. Phil Potts 2-2 again, hit out to center, a little jam job. Robertson's going to have to hurry to get there. It's in no man's land. Shelton couldn't get it either as he tried to get out there. And a blue base hit is going to give the Seminoles a couple of base runners. Jaime Ferrer, right-handed hitter. And the first pitch is chopped over towards third, not hit hard either. Thomas comes to get it. Tough play, and it's not going to be in time. Has just one homer on the year, but he lines this one down the right field line, and that's going to find the corner. Two runs will easily score. We'll see how Evans can get the ball in, how quickly. Curlin's got it now. Here comes a relay throw. It is not in time either. And Cantu just clears the bases with a first inning double. Straight down the right field line is 3-0 Seminoles. RBI is 13, 14, and 15. And, and the number I didn't want to believe was that he was hitting 500 with the bases loaded. Well, that number's only going to go up now. And gave that up on Sunday. Fastball, that's a pop-up. Out to right field. Curlin says he's got it. Just behind the infield dirt, he will haul it in for out number two. Phil Pot ready. And this one is grounded out towards Curlin at second. He's got it on three hops. His throw is good. And that will retire the side. So I started to think, who could be a candidate there? And it's a guy that gets on base. Yeah, just like right it. there. First baseman holds him on. And the pitch is lined right over the second baseman's head. That's out into the gap in right center. Shelton will touch second, head over to third, and Tybo stays hot. And the Gators trying to answer right back with runners on the corners and nobody out. Two big homers over the weekend, none bigger than the one in the 11th inning that helped the Gators win on Saturday. This ball is hit pretty well out towards the left field line. Ferrer is going to drift over. The ball's carrying, and it's going to carry out of the yard. How about that? That was a pop-up, and we told you about that win. It's another Jack for Jack, his 12th of the year, and just like that, we are all tied at three apiece. You're right about a pop-up, Jeff, and you had noted the wind blowing out toward the left field corner, 11 miles an hour, gusting up to 16. I thought if he got it high enough that the, you'd give it a chance with the wind, and that's exactly what happened. I mean. Ferrer has this thing camped, right? Right yeah. before he gets to the warning track. And then he realizes, I, I, I don't have a play here. Facing 8-9-1 and one in the seminal order. And the first pitch is hit out to right field by Jackson West. And that's going to fall in front of Ty Evans. The front side. 1-1 one, one pitch is hit well out to straightaway center field, right where Robertson was playing, though. He's got it. And Philpott has got himself a zero. Charles kicks and deals. Swinging a ball, lifted into right field. Tibbs on the run toward the track. It's one hop off the bottom of the wall. Caglione will have a stand-up double here into the right center field gap with two gone in the bottom of the third inning. Gets a little closer to the plate. Swing and a miss. There it is. The breaking ball is what got him. Curlin was busy for a stretch there in the bottom of this order. This one is skied into left field. Shelna to the track, to the scoreboard. Reaches. It hits the top of the wall. And it is ruled a home run. It's mm. gone. Ferro hits just his second home run of the year. I thought Shelnut was able to reach up. That's about seven feet worth of fence out there below the scoreboard and left, and it hit the very top of the wall and gives Florida State the lead four to three. Yeah, there's that wind again. That ball again was a ball that would have been caught on a normal day and just kept carrying. West is their catcher, and he shoots one through the right side. A ground ball base hit. He's two for two tonight. Tags hold that runner on the pitch. Ground ball to second. Might be two. Kerwin will throw to first instead and gets Lodis. Slater checks that runner and deals. Swing and a base hit right through the hole on the left side. And sure enough, that run's going to come around to score. RBI for Williams on his first hit of the night. The next from Slater. Swinging a well-hit fly ball into right. Evans up near his chin, drifting to his right. Was able to put it away. That got out there in a hurry. Hockey jersey earlier this year. Oh, Tibbs is going to get plunked with a fastball right between the two and two to field the play. One-two pitch is hit hard and fair down the left field line. Thomas couldn't even react. And it's going to hit right below the 321 sign. Shellnut has it. Here comes a relay throw. They're going to try to get the runner at the plate, but it's tardy. And the leadoff hit by pitch 
Tibbs comes all the way around to score, and you saw the speed right there. And he'll hit as a right-handed hitter. And the first pitch is chopped to the left side. Shelton has it again on the, on the run. Long throw, and it's in time. So if that's the only pitch that Menendez throws, and the 11th catcher nationally, and he's going to get on base again as Menendez misses inside. And here's the 1-1, breaking ball. That gets right through the wickets of Garrison. Took a long hop, and it just slid underneath. 2-1 pitch is hammered out into the gap in left center field. Get off the base of the wall, and it's going to be a double for Cam Smith. So a wild pitch wouldn't have mattered. West would have scored anyway. But the two out runs continue to happen for the Seminoles, and Cam Smith is now hitting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Menendez comes set, chest high, and the 1-1 pitch, breaking ball again. That one's hammered into right. Evans coming in, lays out, and he can't get it. It hits off the end of his glove. Sunglasses go flying and the Seminoles get another two-out run as both Cam Smith and James Tibbs deliver. From Tibbs over at first, and this ball is hit to center. Pretty well hit. Robertson running back, still going back, but he'll catch it right on the edge of the warning track, about 410 feet away from home plate. Shelley's way. It's a breaking ball, and it's down low. He took it. So the first base runner to reach off of Abraham is a two-out walk. We'll see if he gets a fastball. He does, and he grounds it out to the shortstop. Easy play for Lodi's, who will just flip to Ferro at second base covering. Doing part to this guy at the plate, Cantu. Swinging, first pitch, deep fly, out to right. Evans to the track, to the wall, gone. Home run, Daniel Cantu. What a night for Cantu. He has driven in five, including a solo home run here to begin the seventh inning. Two doubles and a home run. This the second of the year for Cantu. 9-3, Florida State. He is just destroying Gator pitching. Three hits a couple of weeks ago, three more tonight, and he was just sitting dead red on that fastball in those red unis and put it way over that 16-foot wall. One pitch, one run here in the top of the seventh. Outfield pretty much straight away. Shallow and center is tips. Three twos, ball four. That's low as well. One-two pitch, hit him. Garrison didn't even move, and they will award him first base. The two-two, swing, and he tipped it into the middle west. He's out on strikes. Not right now, one-two. Swing and a foul tip again into the mitt of Jackson West. And sure enough, Brennan Oxford comes in and strikes out Robertson and then Shelton, and the Gators have left four on a couple years ago. Two-two, got him, but it also got through the legs of Garrison. And there's no way with this big backstop that Garrison's going to be able to throw him out. Comes set. And the 2-2 pitch is drilled into center field. He sent it right back where it came from. Tried to sneak another fastball by him. The new center fielder, Jalen Guy, is in there. And now they've got Tibbs hung up at first base. He took a wide turn. Throw back to Cags, And he's going to be safe. Shelton waited too long to throw it to Cab. 76 runs scored. Here's a grounder to Thomas. He'll go down and get it, get to his feet. Only play as a first, and he makes it. Good stretch by Kags on the other end. Maybe one of the wisest moves of the night. <laughs> Intentional walk to Daniel Cantu. Everybody's going to be on the move for the 3-2 pitch. There they go, and the pitch is not even close. Way off the plate. The last time that the Gators lost here in Jacksonville to Florida State, 2015. This ball is hammered deep down the right field line, and it's an absolute no-doubter. Second bomb of the night for Drew Ferro. this time a grand slam. And the Seminoles have blown this thing open here in the eighth. A no-doubter, and it was center cut for Drew Ferro. who again came into tonight's game with one home run and 11 RBI. He now has three home runs <laughs> and 16 runs batted in. Five tonight. Mm. And the 3-2 pitch again is hit pretty well out to right. Evans drifting back. He's in that little cavern out there and just shy of the wall and run ruling LSU. There's a swing and a miss. Good fastball tailing away. Yeah, going to be a force to be yep. reckoned with. 
Back to hosting a regional. Chopper to second. Easy play for Ferro. An underhand toss. Here's the one-two pitch, and it's a pop-up. Right side of the infield now drifts into foul territory and will come all the way back and be caught right hit up the, against the tarp. It hit the net, I thought. No, I think it came back at the very end, and with that pretty spectacular catch on the tarp, that's going to do it. And there will, in fact, be a 10-run mercy rule. <laughs>